I, I just, uh, I, I thought the Love family would, would have a horse, and I didn't want uh, all the equipment to gather dust. I don't think you, you don't think it's strange, do you, that, oh, no, no, I'm very grateful. W would you like to sit down? Oh, thank you. Um, how is job hunting going? Oh, oh, isn't it fine, fine. I have more than a few appointments next week. Oh, good. I'm sure everything will work out. Oh. Ada, you seem to be very deep in thought there. Uh, yeah, how are things at the office? Fine. Couldn't be better. Jamie did an excellent job of holding things together while I was away. Oh, are you surprised? Not at all. He has his mother's love of, love of a challenge. Yeah, right. Where is his mother? Oh, she's upstairs. She's getting dressed for the party, for the wedding. Oh, yes. Better do that myself. Well, Mac. Yeah? Mac, could I, um... Uh... Could I talk to you about the wedding? Sure. Has Rachel changed her mind about going? Oh, no, no. I told you she was getting dressed. She's very excited. Ada, you were doing some heavy thinking there. What's the problem? Well, uh, memory or no memory, Rachel is still Rachel, right? I agree. And she has been doing very well since she came home, right? I think so, too. She's made an amazing adjustment. And you have been terrific. I mean, nobody could be more understanding than you are. I mean, I expected it, of course, but, uh... What's wrong, Ada? Oh, I didn't say anything was wrong. Well, you seem to be building up to it. Well, it's not wrong, exactly. It's, uh, something is different. Sure, my wife doesn't remember who I am, but I'm getting used to things being different. Well, it's a little more than that. What? She doesn't remember who she is. I know that, Ada. Yeah, well, I just thought I'd remind you, just in case she does something. She is still Rachel, you know? Does what, Ada? Oh, Mac, I didn't know you were back. Hi. Hello, Hi. Felicia. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you. Well, is this dress incredible? Or not? It is that. So it is Thank incredible. You. Well, Mac, you haven't said a word. No, that's right, you haven't. What do you think? We're gonna need them. Wow, you look nifty. Thank you, ma'am. And so do you. Thank you, sir. Where's Rachel? Oh, she'll be down a minute. She's putting on the finishing touches. What's she gonna do, wear a tiara? <laughs> I just cannot understand why Felicia would dress her like that for an occasion like this. Well, it's what Rachel wants. But that dress for this? I mean, no, that's, that's just not like Rachel. Well, it's like the Rachel who is now. Oh, but Ada, I don't want her to change. Well, it doesn't seem to be much we can do about it. Ada, I don't want her wearing a dress like that to a church wedding. Does it bother you that much? No, well, she looks beautiful. She looks beautiful anything. But really, now, a flashy evening dress to an afternoon wedding? I don't want people to talk about it. I don't want her feelings to get hurt. But it's what Rachel wants to wear. But why? She never wanted to dress like Felicia before. Well, she's feeling her way. Ada... Do you think maybe there could be some secret, hidden, flamboyant side of her nature we haven't seen before? Well, maybe it could be. I've been thinking, maybe she's rebelling against me, against the way I am. Oh, no, I know that isn't true. Well, anyway, I really think you ought to drop a little hint about that oh, dress. Oh, not me. Oh, not me. You. You have got to talk to her. You have got to drop the hints. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hello, darling. Honey, you ready to go? Mm hmm Oh, Mac, you look very handsome. Thank you. I love the overcoat. Well, you should. You picked it out. I did? Yes, for my birthday. Do you like it? I love it. I love everything you pick out. Well, gee, look at the weather. It's getting just terrible. I think I'll go and get an umbrella. Well, wait a minute. We have a few minutes before we leave, don't we? Yeah, I think so. Well, maybe you both better tell me a little bit about the two people who are getting married so I won't be embarrassed at the wedding. Right. Well, Sally works for me as an art director. Catelyn works in the hospital. 
They've uh, had very hard times last year, but they're both very sweet and gentle people, and we're all hoping they'll live happily ever after. Okay. Well, I hope so, too, then. Well, I'd better get to the church. I've got to help Clarice. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see you there? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll see you there. <laughs> Do I look stunning? Yes, Rachel. That's exactly the way you look. <laughs> Maybe we better get going. It might take us a little longer to get to church with this rain. What's wrong? Why do you ask that? Are well, you staring at me? No, I'm not. You have been. I've been watching you in the mirror. Well, uh, maybe I'm just a little surprised to see you dressed like this. Oh? Did you like the way I used to look when I wore the clothes in my closet? Oh, I did. A lot. Oh. And so did you, I believe. But they're all so stuffy. <laughs> I can't believe I even picked them out. <laughs> we got a few minutes. You mind if I show you something? Sure. Would you like to see what you look like at our wedding? Which one? The first one. Oh, you were so beautiful. <laughs> Look at me. Look at my clothes. You're beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I'm sorry. I, I know it's me, but I, I just don't remember any of it. I'm sorry. That was the happiest day of my life. Her more than his own life. You're all right. I just wish I knew what it was like to love somebody that much. Like she does. Rachel. It's gonna be all right. Really it is. It it just needs time. I'm gonna give you a broken rib. Did you see the two of them? Oh yes, he actually sat her down. The harlot. Thank you. Oh, Aunt Liz, I'm amazed. It's it's just lovely. It'll do. Where did you find a guitarist on such short notice? Oh, he's a uh, Reverend Eddingfield's son-in-law. That man has been a godsend, if you know what I mean. Yes, well, um, you know something? I think this worked out even better than we planned. Is Sally ready? And Liz, you should see her. She looks like an angel. But is Sally ready? I want to get the show on the road. Hi, Mac. Hi, Tim. Good. Hi, you gorgeous. Oh, I did a good job with you, didn't I? <laughs> Maybe I better see how Sally's coming off. Uh, bottom of the stairs, first door on your right. Uh, tell her she's got about ten minutes. Right, thank you. Okay. See you later. Mm -hmm. Hey, excuse me. Hi, hi. hi. Hello, I'm Rachel Coy. Hi. Oh, you must be Nancy Steve. Uh, Rachel, Rachel, you already know this gentleman. He, he's Perry Hutchins. Oh, I've done it again, haven't I? I'm sorry, I'll remember next time. There's no problem. Oh, there's no problem. Have you always had this dress, Rachel? No, Felicia picked it out. Isn't it great? It is. You great. ladies, excuse me, ready to be seated? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. What on earth is Rachel wearing? You should talk. You've been in the same dress all day. Well, I don't look like a hussy. Liz, I... Oh, hey, what are you doing here? I just You're supposed to, to be with Sally, aren't you? I just wanted to see how many people were here. Why? I changed my mind. I don't want to carry the rings. Why not? What's wrong? I think it's dumb. Besides, what if I drop them? Oh, I don't think you're going to drop them. You've been practicing too hard for that. Plus, it was Aunt Liz's idea. Now you're gonna hurt her feelings if you don't carry them. All right. 
didn't I? Didn't I talk her out of putting you in short pants? Well, would you do this for me? Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Now, let's go see Sally. It's almost time. woman to be married to this man? I do. Please be seated. Friends, Sally and Catelyn have asked us to join them as they come before God, declare their love for each other openly, and unite themselves in the vows of holy matrimony. Action Friday with an all-new Knight Rider. Can the bad guys trap Michael and Kid in a mountain tunnel? Then, on an all-new Half Nelson, Rocky checks out the death of a Beverly Hills exercise guru and gets a workout that's just murder. And stay tuned for Miami Vice. Can Crockett and Tubbs pose as speedboat racers to sink a ruthless drug dealer? Or will a smashing young beauty take Tubbs' mind off his work? Knight Rider, followed by Half Nelson and Miami Vice, tonight. Each weekday at this time for the continuing story of Another World.